hope you're all still awake. Late Night Mega here. And this time, we have a training to get to. And we're going to Charge Man stage. And so, I like this stage. I like this music. I like this theme. That's pretty decent. We're obviously at a train station. We need... we have all these special weapons. Let's use them. Let's almost use them improperly because we're taking hits. Okay. Power stone decent there. Now if you go back down... Uh, that's kind of a... Not the party I want to be involved with. Look at that enemy spam. All this enemy spam in this game. Oh, once again, power stone is going to reflect off of the shots from the choo-choo mats. They're so cute. Okay, Power Stone is going to keep circling away from the enemy while I have enemies, like, right on top of me. So let's use something else. Uh, Gyro Attack. We haven't used that enough. Those choo-choo mats, they die to one shot of anything, so just use whatever you want. I've got my eye on them. And Crystal Eye, the cool thing about it is if it hits a wall, it can split into three and then start bouncing around all over the place. Um, okay, we just bombed our chicken, we bombed the mouse. Bomb all of the animals. That's actually working pretty well. Uh, those mice, if you're on the same uh, level as they are, your regular shots will not hit them. I'll just go right over top of them. So you need a special weapon, Napalm Bomb, Crystal Eye, uh, Power Stone, Gravity, whatever, or even even a, 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 a Charge Buster. Yeah, we have that. I feel like that's one of the reasons special weapons don't get as much use in Mega Man 5, is we have such an awesome Charge Buster. A, we got another A there. Another A? Mega Man, yeah, I know how to spell. <laughs> that A stands for, actually, you can get that A without uh, using Rush. Speaking of using Rush, he's just going to get me killed doing that. I know, it looks weird to have a room there with all those spikes to the left. And you can rush Jet over there and you'll find absolutely nothing. There's no secret room or anything. I mean, that would have been a spot for a secret room. Totally looks like there should be something there, because why else would you be killing yourself on those spikes? Maybe it's just the designer's way of putting instant death in the stage, because there's no other instant death in the stage. I mean, it's kind of hard to walk around on a train filled with spikes, there's no bottomless pits. It's just been a nice, comfy train ride, filled with lots of enemies. Alright, well now we're charging ahead. And we actually have Charge Man's Weakness. You could say I trained for this. Oh, and yeah, this is what Charge Man does. He's invincible when he turns red like that. Um, not much else to the battle, just kind of keep your distance. He'll charge in like this. He's immune when he's also charging in. But it is kind of tricky to hit him with Power Stone. Best to just get up close and personal with him, but you don't necessarily want to do that because he does like to walk back and forth. But yeah, that's Charge Man. And for that, we get the Charge Kick. For the longest time, I thought it was a weapon that did absolutely nothing. Because when you press the fire button, it does absolutely nothing. You, you can't do anything with it. How Charge Kick actually works is you have to slide to use it. When you're sliding, it, it's, it's, a, it's a kick. It charges. That's actually decent for this stage. It's Wave Man stage. We're going to wave him goodbye. And so we've got these water spouts here, which uh, if you slide through them, while you're sliding, you're actually immune to damage. So we can slide through stuff like that. Beyond that, there's not a ton of enemies in this stage, at least not enemies that you can deal with with your, uh, 
with your special weapons, so you may as well just come here with Charge Kick. Now, yeah, well, when you're coming out of Charge Kick, you can take damage. Now, yeah, I can't Charge Kick through them? Oh, that's rude. Well, there's no enemies to actually fight, and we're already halfway. And we have these bubbles. Yes, they did not originally in Splash Woman stage, they originated here in Wave Man stage. You need to cross the small bubbles to get to the other big one. I mean, you could go up there on the far right one, but see, that's what happens. And then you'd be forced to go back down and redo it. It's not super tricky when you know what you're doing. And now we get to the wave bike section, which is going to have enemies for us, but we cannot use special weapons while we're on this thing. We also cannot use charge shots when we're on this thing. So we just have to kind of run and gun. I kind of like this section. I would like to have seen more of this idea. And you want to stay not quite all the way to the left side of the screen, because as you see, we've got some Sniper Joes. Sniper no sniping. Uh, coming through there behind us. And now we have this angry octopus thing. It's angry at us for some reason, so we hit it in the green dot on the forehead enough times, and then, well, there goes our mini boss. We have these dolphins. Now we haven't seen the letter yet. And the letter coming up is E, which stands for... I'm, I'm waiting for the letter. I can't say the phrase till I get the letter. I, I, I always feel like it's, it's so close to coming out. There it is, double dolphins. It's really difficult to get, um, but it's E for everyone. And uh, it can be really tricky to get because when those dolphins hits you, you, you get knocked back, you get... Uh, you lose your momentum, and, and then you can't jump for it, and you're passing it, yeah. So try not to get hit, at least on those dolphins there. Hey, an enemy we can use special weapons for. Let's send him into space. With the entirety of our gravity hold. That guy really understood the gravity of the situation. Now it's Wave Man. Now he likes to have these little wave spouts happen in basically random places. He's placing them on himself, and that's not really doing much. Uh, it's doing about as well as me firing in the wrong direction. That wasn't by design, that was my controller not responding how I wanted it to. Ouch. Okay, let's finish him off. We have his weakness, it's Charge Kick. And there you go, you just gotta time your Charge Kick so you don't come out of it while you're still on top of Wave Man. And with that, now we get a weapon, the Water Wave, which lets us wave enemies goodbye. I know I already used that joke, but it, it's worth repeating, because it was so good. And we will use our wave goodbye on Proto Man next time, so I'll see you guys then.